wise men. We found him praying, and we can't talk to him while he's praying. What can we do then? Bess is getting worse. Allahu Akbar. Found it! What is it? Malik, you search for a tree log or a branch or any stick. Why? Search for it first, then I will tell you. I will go and check on the kids. God is my guide. What will you do with it? You can place it under the tree and get a rock, then place it in the wood, and both of you cooperate to press it as hard as you can. We'll count to three, then you press with all your power. All right, Bessel. One, two, three! <sighs> <sighs> about to succeed. We, we did, did it. it! We, we did, did it! it. We did it! You did it? What? We're the ones who did it. You didn't do anything. Zanan did it! Zanan did it! Zanan did something! What happened, dears? Basil was stuck, and we saved him. Well done. Well done, dears. This is the fruit of cooperation. Cooperation makes us stronger than working alone. This reminds me of a saying of the Prophet, peace be upon him, Al-Mu'minu lil-Mu'min kal-Bunyan yashuddu ba'duhu ba'da. Then the Prophet, may God's prayers and peace be upon him, intertwined his fingers like this. صدق رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم. What does this hadith mean? Dear Marmar, this hadith means that as believers, we have to be like one building unit. A building consists of blocks on top of each other, holding together, and makes it strong. If each block is on its own, the building wouldn't exist. And so we are. For example, if you and Malik didn't cooperate to save Basil and each worked alone, you wouldn't have saved him and he would still be stuck. You're totally right, Grandpa. Unity is always power. Well done, Malik. Zanan did something! Zanan cooperated! And you, Zanan, didn't you stay with Basil and never left him? You cooperated as they did. Muhammad the Messenger of Allah. Blessing and peace be upon him. Grandpa, why did you say peace be upon him? Because he is the Messenger of God, my dear. And God has commanded us to pray for him whenever he's mentioned in order to honor him. And also it's a great reward for us. For he is our beloved and our Messenger Muhammad. Prayer and peace be upon him. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما صدق الله العظيم. Blessings and peace be upon him. He's also my daughter, our example for good manners, as he taught us the best manners and the best of words and deeds. so that we can all live in comfort and happiness and become of the best nations. And is it enough that we behave like him? 
to represent good morals, Grandpa. You did well, Malik. And I wish all people would do the same and follow his manners. So, my dears, increase the prayer of the messenger. May God's blessings be upon him. Peace be upon him. Well done, my dears. And what's exactly in the box? Hmm. Inside this box, there is a great treasure. And how is a great treasure put in a small box? <laughs> because, my dears, it's a different treasure than the one you know. It's a treasure of ethics. Inside this box, there is a lot of ethics that people forgot and no one still cares about, although it carries the solution to every problem. Will these ethics be able to get us back to our home? I promise to help you return to your homes, but under one condition. What's that condition? That you gain all the ethics that are inside this box. And we shall see, Marmar, whether the good ethics will bring you back to your homes or not. Cooperation! قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم المؤمن للمؤمن كالبنيان يشد بعضه بعضا ثم شبك بين أصابعه صدق رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Today, my dear kids, you have cooperated in helping Basil remove a tree trunk from above his foot. Without your cooperation, Basil couldn't have left the trunk on his own. And that is one of the good manners. And our Prophet, may God bless him and grant him peace, was the ideal of cooperation. Whether it was inside his home with his family, or with his companions, or the community in which he lived, May God grant you the spirit of cooperation in goodness.